Okay, we are at the 2017 Ohio, Delaware, Ohio, Morel Foray. Name where you're from. Gail Lundgren. I'm from Cincinnati, my very first mushroom hunt. All right. Good Finally. To, good to have you. I've recognized your name for a long time. Yeah, I, I've been following you yes. for a while. want to go. I'm Nancy, and I'm from Ravenna, Ohio. I'm Jeffrey from Columbus, and this is our uh, second mushroom hunt. We did the fall. and It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, my name is Jenna from Columbus. Yeah, you were on the fall too. In now, the fall, yeah. Now that kind of that kind of got you addicted, now didn't it? Yeah. You're you're hooked for life. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I, I warned you. Linda Michelle yeah, from the Quad Cities, yeah. Iowa, Illinois area. This is our first foray, but we've been hunting mushrooms for years. We're Good. excited. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Troy Eden, Jennifer Eden from Washington D.C. Uh, lifelong morel hunter. Want to find out about different other types of mushrooms out there. She and and edible plants. She hasn't exactly. found too many, so hopefully she'll get on this up today. Very good. <laughs> um, we, uh, this is our first mushroom for it. Okay. <laughs> My name is Patty Robertson, and we, we're from Boris from West Virginia. West Virginia, all right. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know Lavina's from West Virginia, so that's her home state. <laughs> we got Mama and Papa and little Gabby Robertson. All right, and, so, and you all are newbies. You never found yeah, any before. We've tried, but we haven't found any. So okay, we're, so we got four. We're new. We got four virgins right here, morel virgins to find. Hi, I'm Susan Sednick. I'm from Euclid, near Cleveland, Ohio, and I've never found a morel before. All right, so I'm excited. A good deal. I'm Kenny. I'm from the Washington, Oregon area, and I've never found a morel in Ohio. That's right. Exactly. I'm Betsy Lures. I'm from Powell, Ohio, and this is my first foray, but I've mushroom hunted my whole life. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I'm Olga. I'm from Columbus, and I'm here to find the biggest morale of Ohio. You're very possible, too. I'm, <laughs> and I'm serious. There's some big ones out there. Bo French, Chilcotty, Ohio. First foray. Okay. Aaron from Chillicothe with my dad, my good friend Bo, and my nephew Ken. Awesome. And you guys have been hunting for a while. Yeah, yeah I can tell. For well, we just first foray. We have first foray. But we're going we're to slam today. Yeah, we are. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good deal. I'm going to put you guys on some special missions. Yeah. I have a special missions team, so you guys are probably going to be on it. Hi, it's Jeff and Merlene. We're from Kenton, Ohio. First foray. She's never found one in the wild. Okay, so you're, you're in for it. Them. I'm just warning you, just like them, they came in the fall last year. And they're hooked for life, so Alrighty. it's something that gets in your blood and it, it doesn't, doesn't leave. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> Gail, Columbus, Ohio, lifetime member. All right, good to see you again. Good to be back. Where's Brad at? He uh, was off wandering like the usual. <laughs> Mr. Brad, you didn't get your face on this camera? Well, good morning. Brad Smith from Columbus, Ohio, lifetime member. Good to see you again. Thank you. Hey. All right, name where you're from. My name is Mike George. I'm from Mount Sterling, Ohio, and I'm a Lifetime Ray 4A member. All right, good to see you. Good to see you. This ash tree right here. So we have an we have an ash tree right here, and that was going to be my next place I looked, and then Kenny went over here and found it. We get, we have a we have a soggy morel here. Oh no. Soggy bottom, boys. <laughs> oh man. That's by this ash. Watch your step. Where there's one, there's usually more. Yep. What did you find? Pheasant backs. Pheasant backs. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you did find some, didn't you? I have no idea that's what those were. Good job. Probably very big enough to eat. Uh, little enough to eat, I guess. Is this one little enough to eat? Well, let's, you got a knife? Let's I sli do. slice it off and see how tender it is. Yeah. Be careful. Set your bag down, sweetie. How can you tell? I'll, I'll show you. Okay. So, this is a live elm. That's beech. This is a live elm. You got a, a big black cherry back there, which is sometimes favorable. And then you have a, a, an elm there. You look up in the top, and there's no buds coming out. That means dead. It just died. What you got? <laughs> what do you got over there? what you got, buddy? Those are some big. Those are some big ones you found. Wow. 
Hey, Gabby. Just, Gabby, Gabby. Hmm? Is this eatable? Is this an eatable? That's a that's edible orange polypore, wow. spring polypore. Wow. Can I cut it, Bob? Yeah. Oh. The, these ones. Step on the rail, see it? Yeah, there's one. Gabby, this one. what do you got? She got it. She oh, found. It. There's, there's another one to your left there, back in there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Can I cut one? Yes. Wait, let me take a picture of it. Yes. We'll cut them, babe. This one broke apart. Wait, wait, yeah, wait till everybody get here and, and uh, they might want to take some pictures. Yeah, let's get a picture of them. That one sort of broke apart. Yeah, that... So which one is... That's the elm right there. Are they kind of too wet? has. Oh, because it's dying. Okay. Yeah, the, that one just died because it, it's got... It don't have any buds in the top. Yeah. Okay. That's why there's some there. Now this one, this one, it probably just died last wow. fall. It'll probably have more morels under it next year too. Don't touch it. Though. So what is that like? Four or five tops? One at it. Pardon? That Move one. This one here. It's more than a double. Yeah, there's a there's two or three there. I told you what we found. What we find is going to be big ones. Wow. Has one picture. That's that's right there is what gets you hooked if you find them big ones like that. Yeah, there's one back in there too. Yep. Wow. Now the bigger the bigger the, the elm tree, the further out they go. You know, a lot of people just look right around five feet around. Sometimes you get spread out. Like they like to hide in thick stuff down in there too. So just we gotta cover it thoroughly. But well, let me get some pictures of these, of these mushrooms here. Yeah. <coughs> now you want to slice it all the way to the bottom. You might sometimes even move that. That get, get as much stem as you can. Let's just slice it straight across like that. All right, you're a pro. We'll put this in. Now let's hold it. Hold it up. Let me get a picture of you. Yes. It, the ground is wet. Wiggle them a little bit. There's that's got a nice bulb on it. Grab them deep and grab a hold of the bulb. Yeah, that's awesome. Otherwise, you just snap the top off. Or, or you can These are ramps. Stick your finger below the bulb. Now, yesterday you were saying something has heart-shaped leaves. You said that was wild. Wild ginger. I haven't seen it yet. Like how big are the leaves? Are they Tree ears, beautiful ones. Look at that. Yeah, get them. Just pick them all. It's the nice ones. Are they on? They're all behind. I'll let you put them right in here, honey. So you wouldn't cook with that. You would use that for what to dry it and powder and. No, I'll be putting some of this in the soup. It's. Can you just like okay. stir fry that or not really? You can. Mm -hmm. Would you do that with all of that? You definitely could. I mean, well, what would it taste? Would um, you have I have to do not. <laughs> this the black, which is better, and I've ta I've had I've eaten over 290 species of, of mushrooms. I haven't eaten this one, so I'll play. That's why I want to get all of. Them. I'm going to play around with the. I wonder if you can make a fab with it. That's great. We've got the load of three here, didn't you? Well, there's a few others in there, but I can't get to them until I dump them. What'd you get here? Yeah, and, uh, these are no good, right? Oh, look, look, at the, look at her bag. That's a forager right there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they found some, the closest name is, would be wild shiitake. Hey. Oh, That's what that oh, is right there. I have to sort yours? So, do you want these dumped in? Yeah, I got them sort, kind of sorted in different categories. Um, those are medicinal. They're turkey tail. Put them, put them with the polypore. Well, after you get done emptying your bags, Lavina's got a gourmet picnic lunch over there. Because <laughs> when I was doing it by myself, it was... It was bologna and cheese and a bag of chips and a Coke. <laughs> so we've definitely upgraded. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got nettle quesadillas. Come and try them. We got wood nettle and field nettle in there. Chris, can you cook the um, the cleavers like you cook? How'd you like the poke and the nettle quesadillas and all that kind of stuff? Dandelion blossoms, very, very trying good. some new stuff, huh? How'd you like the dandelion blossoms and Yum. poke and all? They were po good. Poked your favorite? Very good. Yep.
What have, you like, what have you liked best so far? I think I like the quesadillas. The quesadillas best. and yeah, nettles, huh? What do you like best so far? Everything. Everything? <laughs> I like the poke best. I like the poke. How full do you want these? Does it matter? Soup. Moderate. Yeah. 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 There should be plenty. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is like, this is like the you get done eating the soup, lavina has got the bris bruschetta ready, the mushroom bruschetta over there. All right, grand finale. Mushroom Alfredo, steak, chicken, broths is on the way, and a hodgepodge of fried mushrooms.